It is time for Stu Gats to share his game notes. No one in the media will tell you what happened better than my boy Stu. Weekend observations brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste, 96 calories available for delivery. Dan, over 20 plus years of doing this show with you, the only thing that I've been consistent about is that this week is my favorite week on the sports calendar. Spring is in the air. Magnolia Lane. The chirping of birds. Jim Nance. Amen Corner. Vern Lundquist. The Azaleas. Ah, the Azaleas. And Dan, just like that, Make no mistake about it, Masters Week is back. You excited? Uh, we have not been doing this yet 20 years. I know I say that all uh, the time, but uh, I 20 plus. The anniversary is next year. It'll be 20 years next year. We celebrating? What are we doing? Yeah, what are we doing? Yeah. I, I mean, given that I found out that you were the uh, executive producer today when you walked in and you found out when you walked in, I'm <laughs> guessing we're not going to plan that very well. <laughs> Angel Reese doing the Caitlin Clark. What Caitlin Clark did to everyone else. You know what that's called, Dan? I do not. A taste of your own medicine. Well, that's. You heard it here first. This weekend, keep an eye on Max Oma. Keep an eye on him, Dan. All right. A single eye. One I eye. I mean, he's playing well. All right. One eye will be kept on him. Evan Longoria is an Arizona Diamondback. Longo, did you know that? Did my, you know he my, was still playing? Well, my wife, the only reason I know it is because my wife this weekend saw one of those commercial clips of him turning around to catch a foul ball that was like hit a thousand miles an hour. And she's like, is this real? And I'm like, no, it's not real. It's from eight years ago. It's the only reason I know. <laughs> the, the, I wouldn't know otherwise. He's a D-back. You got to be careful with the way that you say that. What do you mean? A D back. Uh, yeah. You just got to be careful. The Arizona I understand. Diamondbacks, okay. when you shorten it, it can sound like you're offending him. Okay. In the history of the NBA, has there ever been a player like Anthony Davis, a guy who on any given night can look like the best player to ever play the game, and a guy who on any given play can suffer a career-ending injury? Todd, he's a play away. He really is. <laughs> it's true. He also will be remembered weirdly because if he had uh, basically just been born 20 years earlier, he'd be a multiple-time champion, and everybody would know how great he is. But because he's born in this era, everyone thinks he stinks. Dan, if you see Battlehawks wide receiver Darius Shepard on Sundays, don't be surprised. I'm telling you. Guy is good. Adam Duvall is a Red Sox. You know that one? When are we playing this game? When are we it's playing a great game. Uh, where he at uh, with baseball? I'm, because the first week of the season provides a lot of that for us. Uh, it certainly does. I'm playing it right now. The 72 Dolphins can once again break out the champagne. The D.C. Defenders finally lost. Game of the year, by the way. Tip of the cap to Quinton Dormady. Six touchdowns, zero interceptions as the winless Guardians spring the upsets. Wow. I know. You won't see Dormady on Sundays, though. Shepard, however, good chance. And don't be surprised. Mike Clevenger is a White Sox. I did know that just because uh, I bet on him to win against the Astros. They won six to three. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Solid bet. It's a good way to keep informed on sports. When you were making the bet, were you like, wait, Clevenger? Yes. You were? Yes. I'm like, I'm going to bet Clevenger. I'll bet Clevenger. He's a always dog. a good bet. I'll bet as a dog. I'll bet him as a dog. San Diego State head coach Brian Dutcher should be ashamed of himself. His kids fight that hard to come back, and he doesn't use his final timeout. 
to get his best offensive players in on that final possession. He cost them the game. I mean, they won the game, but had they <laughs> lost, he would have been the reason why. Dutch. <laughs> what was he thinking? <laughs> San Diego State is playing for the championship. At 920. The Scott's will not stay awake. He will not do them <laughs> oh, the you're courtesy. You're acting like you will. <laughs> he, I, I will stay awake oh, for nine. Stugatz, come on. For a 920 tip? Come on, Stugatz. Hey, you will stay away. It's a championship game. Uh, you'll stay awake, I mean. Eh. Yeah. I'll, I'll do my best. No, you won't. You're right. You're not going to try. You've announced it. You, there will be no television on in your home at 920 to check in with the championship. Dan, you know what the R in Angel Reese stands for? I do not. Ring. Caitlin Clark, do it in the championship game. Listen, That's at nice. least, what do you mean? I mean, she did. Well, she, yeah, but she didn't. I mean, I mean, she doesn't have a ring. I mean, she did it in the semifinal game. Well, but she did do it. She just lost. Right. No. You got to win. You got to do more. Yeah. Okay. Listen, at least Kim Mulkey doesn't make it all about Kim Mulkey. Xander Bogart. That's what Tony likes. That's what Tony likes. Ah, uh, getting down to it. Mulkey. Xander Bogart. Padre. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. Is it? I don't know. He's like their ninth best player. <laughs> Saturday night, my wife kept asking me, Sunoco? Like the gas station? Top five athletes. That Kenota gas station chain. Number five, Donnie Shell. I think you need the fanfare there, uh, executive you. producer. It's not the same Thank without you. the fanfare. Yeah. Get off my plane. That is not the fanfare. I don't know. I don't. Okay, I regret asking do, for it, do, which is do, exactly do. what he wants. Number four. Splash. Tony Phillips. Number three. Coach K. Circle K. You think of Circle K and gas, do you? It's a chain. Number two. Bit Roberts. BP. Everyone called him BP, Dan. Bobby Portis. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> You're good at this you, game. For some reason, you went 80s Padre second baseman instead of the guy who was just on with us. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll get the 20th anniversary thing. <laughs> Number one. Chris Hogan. 7-Eleven. Always open. Michael Conforto, San Francisco Giant. Amazing. Thought he was still a Met. It's Tommy Pham, though. A little three-run homer yesterday. How about that? I didn't know we had Tommy Pham until Tommy Pham hit the three-run homer. He's fantastic. Hey, Jerrible. Get off my plane. Jeremy, go sit in the penalty box. Oh. I deserved it. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. LaMarcus Aldridge. Just making sure we're on the same page. Don't ever put your name in the same sentence or story as Tom Brady's name ever again. Thanks. Glad we're on the same page. They don't make baseball players like they used to. They don't? Uh, I feel like they don't. I don't know who's who, you know. I, seriously, it's cha everything's changed. Billy, you agree? Like too fast now. Yeah, yeah. too fast. What's the rush? Pitchers are going two innings. I mean, a I lot less hairy too. I, like, what do you mean they don't make baseball players like yeah, they, right, they, yeah. they don't make them like they used to? Where's Nolan Ryan? I, mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't feel like you're really actually explaining what you mean by I they get don't it. make players like they used to. You're, where's Nolan Ryan? Is not an answer to my question. Well, where is he? <laughs> where is he? But where? It's, it's not an answer to my question. You <laughs> ask my. When I ask you a question, your answer is to ask me a question about where's Nolan Ryan. That is not an answer to my Ooh, question. Welcome to talking to you. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean. I, mean, I don't know. This guy's mean. willing to go to the distance, play, you know, back-to-back -back games, never take a night off. I mean, don't make them like they used to. You know? Try to take Pete Rose out of a game. See what happens. Really <laughs> hustle. Especially if he had money on it. I mean, Jesus. By the way, I think he opened a sports book like this weekend. 
And he made the first official bet in the sports book in the city of Cincinnati, I believe. You want to guess who he bet on? The Reds <laughs> to win the World Series. <laughs> What's the payroll? <laughs> I um, can say honestly that gambling was good for Pete Rose. Uh, the best. No yes. one has benefited more. Like, just give up on the Hall of Fame. You have a career of relevance. No, but the relevance <laughs> is to not give up on the Hall of Fame because you're fighting to be in the Hall of Fame. Please, when that place is boring <laughs> as hell. <laughs> Such a good plot twist. FAU. Great run. And you did Boca Raton a favor. 920 tip on a Monday night, two days before Passover. Ain't happening. The 561. Pesach. Speaking of Passover, Tariq Cohen, Anthony Schwartz, a happy one to you and your families. Big week. Even if it had been FAU and Miami in the finals, South Florida still would have been the lowest rated television market in the country. You agree? Yeah. And I don't believe many people would have watched that game. We didn't deserve the semifinal. No, we didn't deserve any of it. It was ridiculous. It was a wild ride. I went out Friday or Saturday night, and the game wasn't even on at the TV at the bar. I had yeah. to ask them to turn on CBS. <laughs> That's amazing. Get out of here. I believe it. Unbelievable. Dan, you know what the LB in Lamont Butler stands for? I do not. Large balls. Colton Wong is a Seattle Mariner. Dan. You know what the H in Iowa Hawkeye stands for? I do not. Holy shit, they are white. Carlos Santana is a Pittsburgh Pirate. Is it just me, or does it seem like everyone is sick? Thank you. You're right on that. Thank you. Everyone, a little cough, a little chest cold, something's going on everywhere. Losers. Season, yeah. yeah. I think it's the pollen. I don't know. It's always the pollen. Yeah. Don't get me started on pollen. Put it on the poll, Juju. Is it always the pollen? <laughs> Cody Bellinger is a Chicago Cub. How? They've turned the whole thing over there with the Cubs. Wasn't that guy like an MVP? It was a couple of teams ago. Uh, that conversation with Dan and Dominique Foxworth really makes you wonder who Dominique wanted to or would have fired with you that got aggregated a lot of places and i'm a little skeptical about that whole narrative right dominique wouldn't be the coo because then he couldn't fire anyone yeah I oh no he was the pro labor guy no but that's how it happened like that he ref he refused to take a job with us and the only reason is because i because i wasn't gonna let him fire anybody i don't mm. like that but who do you think he wanted to fire i feel like even money me probably or i think we all work hard right Hmm. Do as I didn't our jobs ask. as well as we can, except for when Billy's hitting the wrong button. Uh -huh. I didn't Get ask off my plane. Should have asked. That would have been a good, good journalistic follow-up follow question. Good follow-up question, mm -hmm. yeah. Also, I love Dominique, but I'm calling BS on him. He didn't want to leave ESPN because who the hell would do something like that? Speaking of hell, Art Bryles. Dan, those are the weekend observations.